Welcome back to This Week in Politics on KSFY. President Trump is the subject of an impeachment inquiry in Washington. The U.S. House opened proceedings this week, alleging Trump abused his office by asking the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on 2020 Democratic presidential candidate, former Vice President Joe Biden. Biden and his son Hunter have a history of political and business dealings in the country that the White House says may themselves be corrupt. This week on the campaign trail in Delaware, Biden responded. This isn't a Democratic issue, a Republican issue. It is a national issue. It is a security issue. And it's time for this administration to stop stonewalling and provide the Congress with all the facts it needs, including a copy of the formal complaint made by the whistleblower. And it's time for the Congress to fully investigate the conduct of this president. Members of our tri-state congressional delegation have been quick to react to the impeachment inquiry proceedings. Senators Thune and Rounds and Congressman Johnson of South Dakota all spoke with our Washington News Bureau. I think that you want to make sure that it's it's fact-based and that you have a sound argument for why um, you know anything the president has done reaches the level that the Constitution uh, requires for an impeachment process. Otherwise, the American people, uh, I think, will reject it. What's disappointing is is they're going to waste a whole lot of time on this, and at the same time. They're not getting the other work done that they should be getting done. There are a certain number of my colleagues who have just been obsessed with this president. Uh, I, they have been, uh, frankly, after him since day one. Now, does the guy say things very differently than I might? Of course. But the reality is it's far more impactful to me that we get USMCA done, which would create 176,000 new jobs, than we parse these words on one transcript or another. Reactions to the impeachment inquiry also came in from two members of Minnesota's congressional delegation, Dean Phillips and Elon Omar, saying they support Speaker Pelosi's decision to move forward on this. Many of us uh, have been talking about how this president thinks he's above the law uh, and how we needed to hold him accountable. Uh, and I'm very excited that she's finally on board and that we can start this process uh, with leadership in tow. We have got to identify if the allegations are corroborated by the facts, and if they are, it is time that we initiate uh, impeachment proceedings as soon as possible. And Iowa Congressman Dave Loebsack, who says he has resisted signing on to an impeachment inquiry, says now he would be negligent in his duties to not support a closer look at whether the president abused his office by asking a foreign government to help him gain a political advantage over a political rival for an election that is just over 13 months away. I have serious concerns about how he, how he handles himself in this job, uh, his demeanor, you know, his whole approach to the job. Um, he's so often not particularly presidential, let's put it that way. 